Hey folks, it's DIY Guy123 here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to extract a stripped out um, it's a little threaded threaded doodad hole in the center right there. And uh, they go on a uh, hex key, I guess I called them all for years and years. There we go. So basically you screw it in with this hex key. And uh, they just basically will go through one material and grip on the material underneath it. Very often you have a pulley that's on a shaft that is, uh, the pulley grips the shaft with these things, but they're notorious for stripping out. So the one I just showed you here, which I dropped on the floor, is brand new, but here's the original. And you know, there's just no, there's no resistance. It's rotten and rusted and stripped out. So the first thing you do, First thing you do is you get a sharp object and uh, scrape the dirt out of it. Uh, you know, you want to do that first, clean it out really well, and then blow it out with compressed air. Always use eye protection when you're using compressed air. Then the next thing is I've got a drill here. Now, if the shaft was removed and I was trying to get this out, I could drill right through. And, uh, and then as you're drilling, you know, probably that set screw will bind up on the drill and drill right out. But in this case, the shaft is in there, so I can't drill all the way through. Plus that set screw is pretty hard. I tried drilling it even with a sharp bit and it didn't want to drill through. So what I'm doing, I'm not trying to drill it through. I'm just trying to clean the rust out of there. And now you can see some shiny metal in there. If I get out of the light, uh, not like a shadow. You can see some shiny metal and I'd blow that out with compressed air too. And after you do that, then you're gonna be all set up to weld. Now, I'm not gonna go into welders and different kinds. I have a wire feed welder and a stick welder. For this, for these jobs, when I'm extracting broken bolts and things, I always use the wire feed welder. And this is a Miller welder, like they're, you know, they're pretty decent, but if you have like a no-name brand or, or a cheap one, it'll do the same job for what we're doing here. You don't need to have an expensive welder for this. What I usually do, if it's a bolt that's broken off, I will weld a nut onto the top of the broken bolt. But in this case, it's so small that I really don't, uh, don't want to do that. So I'm going to show you what to do. Okay, so normally when I'm MIG welding, I would cut this uh, bit of wire sticking out, cut it right off, flush with the, uh, the little cone here. But in this case, um, I want to leave that about, maybe that's a little long, but whatever. I want to leave that out there so that I can put that little wire right in the center of the uh, set screw that I'm going to try and weld to. So it's going to help me center the weld. So here we go. We'll try and build it up. When things are gross and rusty, it's really hard to contact. I don't know if that'll work. So there was a bulb that filled in there. It happened so kind of quickly. Yeah. There's nothing useful there, that just picked out. Let's try again. That might be better. So I just filled it in there and I let that cool for a second. Now I'm gonna hit it again. Okay, so I'm just let that cool right down. Possible it'll break off, but uh, you know, that's the way it goes. I can just do it again if it does break off. Get a good pair of pliers on there. All right. So I'll show you what's happening. The bulb is turning, and but it's binding up. That's because there was a wasn't like a perfect uniform weld around the perimeter. So that tells me the. Uh, the original set screw um, is loose, but if I keep working this back and forth, I think it'll come. As soon as you get it like a half a turn out, it'll make enough clearance for this to spin easier. I 
I probably built that bulb up higher than, higher than it, or bigger than it needs to be, but give you the, the money shot here. Right, and there we go. So that's how we extracted this broken set screw. The fact that there's a big blob of weld on there makes no difference. That's great, we got it out. And I'll put the new one in. Now I could chase the threads uh, on this before I put it back in, but basically that pin will come out of the shaft now. Easy. All right, that's how we do it. Good luck with your do-it-yourself projects. If you like my videos and they help you, please subscribe.